Hello and welcome everybody. This is Rafael Rau here with another quick tip, this time about cycles and how to turn an HGRI environment. Now this might seem a bit hard if you do that the first time, but if you do it more often, it's not that bad. So let's get started. I've already created an environment. You can do that here, or if you don't have this um, strip here, you can go dive into the cycle setting and go here. The environment then creates an environment background material. So I'll dive in that material right now. In that material, make sure to create an environment texture. You find that under texture, environment texture. I've already linked an HDRI in it. It's from Maxim Ross. And if you don't know about Maxim Ross HDRIs, I really recommend them. I use them very often. Now, we've created our HGRI, but the normal trick that most of the renderers do in Cinema 4D doesn't work here. So by turning the HGRI or the object itself, the HGRI stays the same. So what do we do? Now, as I said, this sounds more complicated than it is. Just first thing you need to do to lay down a mapping node, go to Vector Mapping. And don't be scared, most of the parameters we don't need to touch. It's just a mapping layout for a lot of other parameters that might come in handy, but we are not using right now. So right now you can see that the HGRI turned blank and we get a gray area here. This is because the mapping doesn't know what to do because we don't give him any information. So what you need to do to give that information back to the mapping is go to input and to texture coordinate. And since the coordinates have already been generated, you can just use them. And voila, we are almost done. The only thing to turn your HGRI now is to use that mapping node in the Y rotation and then maybe try this. And you can see that the lighting changed and we rotated our HDRI environment. So this is for now. I hope you find this helpful. Thanks a lot for watching my quick tips. Have a good day.